This is Ram Cunningham with Things to Do in Fort Smith. I'm Phil Blackburn, one of the pastors of First Presbyterian Church. Uh, we're here uh, at the uh, Crisis Intervention Center. We're here with Penny. Penny, good to see you. Hi. Uh, I'm very happy to, uh, with things to do in Fort Smith and myself and, uh, and ROG 94.1. We're teaming together this uh, this Christmas season uh, with First Presbyterian Church. And I tell you, with a campaign called Transform Fort Smith. And if you don't know all the great things that First Presbyterian does, well, you just stay tuned for the next couple of months because you're going to find out all the great things they do. One of the things they do every year is they have a big special Christmas Eve uh, service and in that service they take an offering like they do each week uh, but at this service every penny goes to a nonprofit that's right so what we've done this year is we've selected three nonprofits and we're gonna let you decide who receives the money so uh, Philip uh, thanks for having us and being a part of this penny you are one of the recipients here at the Donald W. Reynolds Crisis Intervention Center. Tell us a little bit about the Crisis Intervention Center, and if you are chosen, what you're going to use the money for. Yeah, so the Crisis Intervention Center serves a wide area, not just the Fort Smith area. We're about nine and a half to ten counties wide. We are the only safe shelter for victims of domestic violence, adults and children. They can stay here and be safe um, from their abusers, and we also have a sexual assault response team. So if any person, any adult, male or female, um, happens to fall into that tragic category, you don't have to go wait in the emergency room. You can come here, um, the police will bring you here. We have a response team that handles all the chain of evidence. Um, everything is done here on site, so you don't have to sit in the waiting room. You don't have to tell your story to a nurse and then a doctor and then a policeman. It's all done here in-house, right here in Portsmouth, Arkansas. That is great. Philip. how many years has First Presbyterian Church done this each year for Christmas Eve? Uh, it's been about four years that we've done this. Uh, this is the first time we've let you guys decide where the money's going to go, but we've been involved with the Crisis Intervention Center for many years now, and so we were excited to include you in this vote for the Christmas Eve offering. Penny, uh, you said you'd put some thought into what you might use the funds for, so make your pitch to folks. We have. So a big piece of domestic violence is learning how to take care of yourself, even after you're safe from your abuser. Um, it's a large trap to fall into, and people get so caught up in just recovery, not only for their children, but just to move. They think they want to just move on with their life, and they don't stop and think about what I need to do to keep this from happening again. Something that I'm big into is self-care. I offer it to all the employees and to our clients. I'm a writer, I'm a reader. I think it's very important to put your feelings down on paper, not just to help you express yourself, but to go back to later and maybe see what patterns were happening that you could have avoided or something that worked for you. So we'd like to start a journal program for our children that are of writing age and for our adult clients here. And we'd like to start a, a yoga meditation series Excellent. so that our uh -huh. children and, and our um, men that have been abused that come use services here but women that are clients here in the shelter um, can use two to three times a week just to kind of have some wind down time um, be in a room with other people that are in a similar, similar situation with them but it's different from a parenting class or a trauma yeah. class where you're talking about what happened to you we want a class that talks about moving forward and how we can better take care of ourselves that's fantastic that's a great use of that yeah. very it's much something that's definitely new and needed around here Thanks, Penny. Yeah, Thank you're you welcome. Much. Thank you. All right, so it's the uh, Crisis Intervention Center is one of the uh, one of the finalists, and you will decide. We'll be posting a link later on uh, First Presbyterian's Facebook page uh, to the a link to the website where you go on and vote. We're going to draw the winner. Do we have a date on the one we're going to draw yet? I think December twentieth. December twentieth. Uh, Can I be like American Idol? Pick two. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There you go. <laughs> well, never mind. Pick uh, me. Yeah, we'll have to figure out. <laughs> yeah, that's then. good. But we'll be posting that link later on. Uh, you decide who receives the Christmas Eve offering from First Presbyterian Church. Things to do in Fort Smith. Penny, thank you very much. Thank you. All thank right. you so much. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.